All right. Good morning. Good evening, everyone. Today, I'm going to walk you through a quite new topic, which is DNS over HTTPS, or as you would hear everyone call it, DO. I trust if you search it for it, you will see a lot of Homer Simpson videos, but I assure you, this is not what we are going to discuss today. So whether you are setting for a soon network security interview, or even you are the network administrator, I hope you will benefit from what we will be discussing here. Basically, as you already know, DNS or domain name system in a very simple form is responsible for translating domain names to IPs. So users would have a simple way to access resources on the network by name instead of memorizing their IPs. It's a UDP protocol which uses port 53 and this would be your level 1 answer to that basic network interview question. If you want to take your answer to the next level, you would mention that DNS uses TCP protocol as well in some specific cases such as zone transfers. But if you really would like to show your capabilities here, when answering that DNS question, you can say that DNS works also on TCP port 443. Yes, you hear it right, it's the same port used for HTTPS. So in the old school days, DNS was much easier to monitor and control. The reason for this, it was a clear text traffic going through a specific port number. So as a network security administrator who has access to see this type of traffic, you'll be able to know which URLs your users are trying to access and to force them to use your company's DNS server, it was easy for you to block that external DNS traffic on the firewall side. But now, DNS service providers are starting to adapt the technique of serving DNS queries coming over HTTPS requests. This means the endpoint will be sending an HTTPS-like request to the DNS server asking for the IP address of CNN.com for example, DNS server will be able to serve it with no problem at all and send the relevant IP back to the client again over the HTTPS response. The main difference here is that you as a network administrator will not be able to see what URL was requested because the DNS request was encrypted and it will be harder for you to block it on the firewall as it's using the same port number similar to HTTPS. So let's see this in action. I'm using here both Firefox and Wireshark on a Windows 10 PC. On Wireshark, I'll be filtering only DNS traffic. Just a side note, it might be showing some traffic that is generated by applications other than Firefox. Opening YouTube will of course trigger many DNS requests for all the domain names used within the application, as you can spot here. If we used another website like this one, flower.com, it will result in fewer DNS requests. And if we track the first request, for example, here is a packet sent by the client asking for the domain name. As you can see, it's in clear text and we can identify it. In the following packet, it will show the response coming from the DNS server. You will be able to see again the query about the domain name and the answer to this query with the IP addresses representing the domain name. Again, you can see them in a very clear text format. Of course, you'll note it is a UDP protocol which uses destination port number 53. Cloudflare is one of the DNS service providers who supports the DNS over HTTPS feature. And they are hosting this help page which we can use to see if we are connected to their free service or not. As you can see, I'm not yet connected to their DNS server which has the IP address of 1.1.1.1 yet. And I'm not also enabling the DNS over HTTPS feature. So let's do this now. To do so, I will need to perform two changes on my computer. One is to configure my computer to use a DNS server which supports the function. In my case, I will be using the Cloudflare service with the IP address of 1.1.1.1 as the preferred DNS server and 1.0.0.1 as the alternative one. As a proof, when I refresh the help page here, 
as you see I'm now using the 1.1.1.1 server yet my browser is not performing DNS over HTTPS by default browsing the internet is still resulting in showing all my DNS requests in clear format here comes the second configuration I need to perform which is telling my browser to use the while requesting URLs this is done under the proxy settings on Firefox as you can see it's a single checkbox to enable with Cloudflare as the default service provider in order for changes to take effect I'm restarting my browser here and for easier tracking, I'm clearing the Wireshark history, and here we go. Opening the BBC website, for example, has went under the radar with zero DNS traces. Same for YouTube, and it will definitely be the case for any other websites. I just want to remind you that we are seeing here all the DNS traffic generated from my computer, not only from Firefox. This is why you will note some requests are still showing, but they are not related to my web traffic generated from Firefox. Now, if we check the Cloudflare help page again, it will state the fact that we are connected to the 1.1.1.1 DNS server and now using DNS over HTTPS as well. That's it for today. Hope you liked what you saw and see you again in a later video.